Hey guys, Craig here from Push Patterns. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be discussing which version of Ableton Live you should get. Now, if you've been to the website, you'll see there's three different versions. You're probably wondering, well, which version is right for me? In this video, I unpack what features are in what version and which one would be best for your situation. So let's jump in and have a look. So here's Ableton's website. We've gone to shop live, it's ableton.com. These are the three different versions. Now we'll start down here at intro. Now the biggest thing with intro is you've only got 16 audio tracks in comparison to the others where you have unlimited. Now I must say, all these versions of Ableton Live are fully functional DAWs, which means a digital audio workstation. It's the program we use on a computer to capture and record audio, edit it, and then export it to share with our friends and family. And we can do that, but what the difference is we have limitations in the key features quite severely in intro. Now it doesn't mean that that's not gonna stop you from doing it. I think this is great if you're first starting out at making, I don't know if you wanna make some beats or some tunes, and you're not really too sure if you wanna get into this, but you don't wanna worry about a free trial running out or anything like that. For 70 pounds or 69 pounds to be precise, you can get 16 channels and make a tune, 16 scenes, which is 16 parts of the song. That's gonna be more than enough. Say if you make a drum beat, bass, keys, a synth, maybe a vocal line, a few backing vocals. That's like six, six tracks, there's more than enough. That's if you're getting started, but don't worry if you, you do that and you think, hey, hang on a second, I, I quite like this actually. You can always upgrade at a later date, which is fantastic. You're also quite limited on the amount of software instruments you have. These would be quite good to get started. Also the, the sounds, but you do have a wealth of audio effects, which is quite good. So if you're just looking to jot down some audio ideas, this would also be quite good. So summarize, intro would be good for someone that's just starting out, not taking this too seriously, bit strapped for cash. Maybe you're looking to get your kid involved in music production. This would be great as well. Also for somebody that's kind of, uh, doesn't want to be too overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that standard and sweet can offer you. Cause it can be quite daunting. If there's something new to you, again, there's all these plugins, program, oh, it's too much. You can start simple and work your way up and always upgrade at a later date. The next is standard. If we look at standard, we have unlimited audio MIDI tracks and it's pretty much the same. So the live key features are pretty much the same for standard as they are sweet. There's one thing missing, there's max for live, which this is the opportunity to make your own plugins and download open source plugins. Usually there might be some things in Ableton that come up where you're like, I wonder if that could be done. And usually if you go to Max for Live's website, somebody's built a plugin for it. Or if they haven't, you could build that plugin. Don't need to know coding, it's all node-based coding, so it's pretty straightforward. Still quite complex, but it's easier than coding, basically. Where you get stuck is software instruments and audio effects and sounds. If you're coming from another DAW, and you've already got some external VSTs, what I mean, like audio plugins or MIDI or VSTs, such as like Arturia's software synths, Serum, Omnisphere, stuff like that, Plugin Alliance, Waves. You can also use these in Ableton so that you might not need all the extra audio effects that you get from Ableton. Also standard is great, say if you're coming from another DAW such as Logic and you're a student, and you want to get involved in Ableton and see what it's all about, this is, this is going to be a great entry point for you. Also, if you're a student, you get 40% discount. So it takes it down to 190 pounds. And it's the same for Suite as well, which is quite good value for money, I think. Also, if you're coming at this from a live performance point of view, you want to use Ableton for backing tracks. Standard is great. That's what I started on. That's how I got involved in Ableton Live. The only thing that was missing was the sampler plugin. But what's fantastic about Ableton is you can go into Ableton store and buy the individual plugins and upgrade. So I didn't have to pay all the extra cash to have all the features bar one plugin. I could just upgrade to get that one plugin. So to summarize, standard would be great for someone that's coming from another DAW that wants to get involved. Also a student or someone that's into live performance Someone that has some third-party VSTs and might not necessarily need all the extra audio effects that Ableton has to offer. Last thing is Suite, the full version. 
So who, why would you get this? One, you have Max for Live, you have all the audio effects, sounds, everything. You have everything you need to get going. You don't have to buy any extra audio effects, anything like that. So this might be someone that's definitely dead set on getting into electronic music and wants a one step place for everything. Also, this is someone that's maybe looking to upgrade from standard. So you could be in standard and feel like there's actually a few more instruments that I need so you can get the full upgrade. So you can upgrade or you can go straight in. So this is more a professional sort of mindset. This is someone that's dead set on getting involved in music production. Maybe you're really into some electronic artists and you see them using Ableton Live. You have all the features available to make tunes up to their standard. You're not limited by any track count. You're not limited by any lack of audio effects. You have them all there. Suite is also available for a student discount. So like I said before, it's 325. Also, you can get a free 90 day free trial of Sweet. Be careful, they'll get you because it's so good. They'll hook you in and then you have to download Sweet because you'll probably use all the features and go, oh my God, this is great. And then before you know it, the 90 days runs out and you're like, oh my God, I need Ableton. So <laughs> that's probably where you would get Sweet as well. Okay, to summarize, if you're looking just to kind of get into Ableton Live, you're not too sure if you want to take this too seriously or you have kids getting into Ableton Live, we just want to make a beat. Ableton Live intro is a no brain. It's only like 69 pounds. You can always upgrade at a later date. So standard is great for a semi-professional level or say if you're coming at this from a student or you're coming from another DAW, you're not going to be limited by track count. However, you're going to be limited by the amount of samples and VSTs and audio effects you have. Now, if you have external third-party VSTs, that's not gonna be a problem. Or if you use websites like Splice, that's not gonna be a problem either. Also, I mentioned you can upgrade at a later date, and also you can buy individual plugins from Ableton's website, which is great. Now, Suite is obviously the full singing, dancing version, which has all the software instruments. So if you're coming at this from a professional point of view, you've made the decision, I wanna do this, I wanna make a track, this is your one-stop point, you have everything there, you don't have to get any extra plugins or sounds or anything you're there also it's a good transition from the free trial so check that out don't forget if you're a student you get 40 percent discount i hope you found this video helpful and hopefully it'll give you some guidance as to what version of ableton live you're thinking about getting if you've got any other questions about which version of ableton to get leave a comment in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible okay thanks for sticking around hope you enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this Hope to see you on the channel again soon. Bye for now.